Hey guys, this is Gerald. And Aubrey with Bass Kicking Adventures. And today, where we are in North Carolina, it is rainy and cold outside. And it's probably in the 40s. And it's just been pouring down rain. So no fishing for us today. But we just went right down the road to an awesome tackle store called Rock Outdoors. And I'm gonna show them what we got. Got one of these chatter baits. Yep, so we got a Z-Man three eight ounce chartreuse and white chatter bait. Now what we're gonna do, and you know we've got a bunch of chatter baits, you know, all different colors and trailers and all that stuff. But what we're gonna do is we're going to create our own new type of fishing lure, chatterbait. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the skirt off the chatterbait and we have all kinds of soft plastics. This is a powerbait, Berkeley powerbait gilly brim. And I actually put one of these on a chatterbait the other day and about my 10th cast, I got it hung on a rock. And uh, that rock must have had a sharp edge because I use 30 pound braid and it's pretty hard to break that but that rock cut my line and I lost it but that ghillie on that chatterbait it was that one was actually a jackhammer but it looked great going through the water so you know we have all kinds of trailers and crayfish lures pit boss all kinds of stuff you know, Storm 360 trailers. Um, this is a this is a setup that I've been using for a while, and uh, I've caught a bunch of fish off this setup. It's got this uh, crayfish. I think that's made by Storm, and boy, that thing looks good going through the water. And that's just a uh, that's actually a jackhammer right there. So, anyways. We are going to turn the camera off for a few minutes and we're going to experiment with some of these ideas and then we're going to turn the camera back on and show you what we came up with. And unfortunately, due to the weather, we won't be able to try it out today, um, but sometime in the next couple of days, it's supposed to rain tomorrow also, but sometime in the next couple of days, we will show you what our uh, new fishing lure looks like going through the water. All right, so we'll turn the camera back on shortly. All right, guys, we're working on our lures now, but I just wanted to show you. Aubrey's got her helping hand fishing lure holder there, and she's working on her chatterbait. And she is she's got a brown marker there, or what color is that? Brown. Brown. She's got a brown marker there, and she she put a a brown crayfish and her chatterbait had a white head she's going to paint the head brown so anyways i just wanted to show you what what she's in the process of doing right now i've already got mine finished and i'm going to show it to you here in a minute mine's pretty simple but i i love it all right we'll be back in a few minutes after she gets finished with hers all right guys so we have been working on these chatterbaits and uh this was going to be my choice i was going to go with the berkeley powerbait gilly again um and it did look good going through the water on this chatterbait but i wanted to change it up a little bit because where i fish uh shad is by far the most sought after bait fish in any body of water around here so I ended up going with the Yum Money Minnow, and I'm not sure what size that one is. Looks like it's a three and a half inch, probably. So mine was pretty simple. I got these at Bass Pro Shops. You can get them on uh, Amazon also. Yum Money Minnow. 
looks just like a shad. So, my way of thinking is this thing going through the water, the blade is going to draw the attention. The bass is going to see that thing going through the water just like that. And he ain't going to be able to stand it. Oh, it's going to look just like the shad in High Rock Lake, Baden Lake, Yakin River, all these bodies of water around here. And when we go fishing, I will show you what it looks like going through the water. And all that is, is a $5 Z-Man chatterbait that I took the skirt off of. All right. All right, guys. Now Aubrey's going to show you what she did with her chatterbait. And she, I'm going to let her tell you, but just to fill you in, um, you know, she got the same, the exact same chatterbait that I did, the same size. And she took the skirt off. And this is what she came up with. And I'm going to let her tell you about it. All right. And who'd you get the bait from? So I got this brown and red crawdad from a friend of ours named Ken Osborne, which has a small bait company in High Point, North Carolina called Arrowhead Custom Baits, and you should go check him out sometime. Yep. Then over here I used this Help in Hand Fishing Lure Stand to color or paint the top of the head. Yep. And guys... I'm going to interrupt her here for a second. If you've never seen these helping hand fishing lure stands, uh, you know, they're on, they're on Amazon and they're cheap. It's got a bright little LED light, big magnifying glass, but this is the whole key right here. So you can take any fishing lure, you can adjust these however you want to, to hold the fishing lure. So if you need to paint it, you know, whatever you need to do to it, these are going to keep that lure secure great i think i paid ten dollars for that thing great deal all right so you use this to paint the head and then what'd you do with the dipping glue so i used this fire red dipping glue to paint the tip of the pinchers, crawl pinchers yep. and the tip of the antennas yep and guys this dipping glue uh i don't know how many colors this uh comes in i know we've got the red and i think we've got orange we got two or three different colors but this stuff right here you can use it on any plastic bait and all you do is shake it up a little bit and dip your bait in here and it dries super fast um you know it doesn't matter what color fishing lure you got if you want to add some red or orange or green or whatever colors Dippin' Glow has, this stuff really works. And why do you think that's going to work, Aubrey? Because in our area, curl dads are a really good, like... Bait. That's something that pretty much every fish goes after. Yeah. And this is a good color of what they look like in our area. Yep. So we're we're a firm believer of match the hatch, and that right around here, most of the crawled ads are are brown like that. Um, and you know, so when Aubrey's reeling that in, when Aubrey's reeling that in, sorry, we just had some dumbass ride by that has no muffler on his Honda, and he thinks it sounds good, but it sound like a piece of crap. But anyway, so when she reels this in. You know, these chatter baits are good about bumping off logs and stuff anyways. So, you know, you can kind of run this along the bottom. And uh, I think it's going to do really well. I think these pinchers are going to be flopping. It's going to, the blade's going to grab the attention. And he thinks he's going to get an easy crawdad meal. Until the big girl sets the hook in his mouth and reels him in. So... That's what we've been doing. We're going to, we're, we're, you know, we, we made us two chatter baits, custom made how we wanted it. And we're going to give them a try. And I can't wait to, uh, to show you guys what it looks like going through the water. And we just wanted to, you know, show you guys that 
obviously you can do the same thing if you got some chatter baits that you want to switch up i mean you can use you can use anything storm 360 uh swim bait is one of my favorites i mean that would look really good on a chatter bait and i'm you know you can still use the skirt but that was the whole idea we wanted to change it up a little bit and not use a skirt so but anyways i appreciate you guys watching and we will be back probably not tomorrow because it's supposed to rain tomorrow too but probably sunday and uh we'll show you what these things look like going through the water all right you guys take care thanks for watching bye and if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button and we'll have more videos coming soon